Hi everyone and welcome back to 5 Minute Family Search. So here we are, we're back on the main page for Find a Grave and we're going to start talking about cemeteries. So I'm going to go ahead and click on cemeteries and it's going to bring me to this page here. Now I'd like to walk through this page with you so you can see all the different features that Find a Grave has in relation to cemeteries. So if we start up here at the top, it's going to show us that there are 474,188 cemeteries in 238 different countries that have been uploaded so far. So as I said, there are many people going around with cameras, taking pictures of headstones, adding in obituaries, and expanding this database for Find a Grave. So I'm going to come down a little bit and now you'll see a, a button that says add a cemetery. You can click on that and it'll tell you to please do add a cemetery but you want to make sure that you are not creating a duplicate. And it says have you already searched for the cemetery and if you haven't you can just say no I haven't and if you want to say yes you can just click here. Now I'm just going to show you how to do this. I'm not going to go all the way through because I don't want to create a bogus cemetery. So I would just put in the cemetery's name and the location which the city or the town that it's in the phone number for it, the, if they have a URL, a website, you could put in it in there, the street address, the coordinates, and a small description about it. And you can go ahead here at the bottom of the page and create your cemetery. Now there are still many cemeteries that do need to be created, especially if you find a smaller one that is maybe just a, a family cemetery. There may only be four or five headstones in that cemetery, but that itself does need to be uploaded onto Find a Grave. So this is how you would go ahead and add a new cemetery. But again, as I said, just make sure that it's not already there. So we're going to come back up to the top and we're going to click cemeteries. And this right here, cemetery name, cemetery location, we're going to come right back to that. We're going to come back down to browse by location and I'm going to go and click here. Now browse by location is if I want to pick a specific place. If I wanted to just look in Switzerland in a specific graveyard, I'm just for easiness here, we're just going to go ahead and do something local. So we're going to say North America because that's where we live. We're going to scroll down to the United States. And here we are, United States of America. And it says, obviously, there are 52 USA locations. That's how many states we have. So we're going to say Kansas. Now, I want to click on Kansas because I know that I have a lot of family on my biological father's side that live there. Their last name is Michaelis. So as I told you in an earlier video, my mother's side of the family has come from Belgium. My father's side of the family, I'm sorry, my father's side, his family is from Russia. So my father was born in the country and my grandparents were, but my great-grandparents they came from Russia and had their children here. So I have found out recently, like I said, it's my biological father, I found out recently that I'm 50% Russian. So I know that the Michaelis families that are in Kansas are all related to me. So there are 105 Kansas County locations. Now my family, they were all over, but they were pretty much um, centered in Russell, Kansas. So I'm going to scroll down here to Russell, Kansas, and I'm going to click there. And there are 19 Russell County, Kansas locations. Now, I didn't know this before. I don't know if it's recently added or what, but I came through here looking earlier when, before I made this video, and there is actually a cemetery called M Michaelis Cemetery. So when I click on that, it has the name of the cemetery, the Michaela Cemetery. It's in Russell County, Kansas, and it gives the information. There's 77 memorials added, and it's 78% photographed. So there's still some more that needs to be um, photographed in the cemetery and uploaded onto Find a Grave. If I come here, it's giving me the name of the cemetery. If I click here, it's going to show me the picture. And if I move over more, it's going to show me a map. And I can actually see the map of the cemetery. And here it is right here. And so I'm just going to come back up because we don't really need to focus on that. So we're going to go back to the cemetery. So if you scroll down a little bit, it says the cemetery currently has no description. That's not a big deal. It just would tell you a little blurb about the cemetery. But what we do want to focus on is right here, the Search Michaela Cemetery. Now I'm going to cheat. The name of it is Michaela, so we know that there's going to be Michaela's in here. But I'm just going to go ahead and put in the last name of Michaelis, and it's going to pull up all the Michaelises that are listed in that cemetery. And when I do that, it's found 44 matching records. And so this is what I have shown you. These are the memorials now that I showed you on the other video. And I can come through and I can click on these, and it's going to open up 
their information, like I said, like we've already done. And here, this is where it gets really exciting. And I actually have already gone through and added all these people into Family Search and added in their information. But when I come down here on the left-hand side, you'll see family members. So here are her parents, and these are all active links. Here's all her siblings. Here's her spouse and here's their child. These are all active links. So I can just come in and I can click on any of these and it's gonna take me to his information. Oh, April 8th, that's actually my birthday, but not 1886, obviously. But um, for William Frederick Michaelis, here's his birth information, his death information. And I found all of this just by looking through cemeteries. And that's the exciting thing about cemeteries is because they normally do have a concentration of the same family inside of them. So when you find one relative, you'll normally find several relatives around them. So I'm going to come back and click on cemeteries. I'm just trying to get back to where we were. So that is how I can browse by location. The same thing here, cemetery name. I could go in and put in the name of a cemetery. So let's just call it the Russell Cemetery right here. And I'm going to say in Kansas, let's say Russell County. Let's see, it'd help if I could spell, huh? So we're going to say Russell, Kansas. And we're going to look for a cemetery called the Russell Cemetery in Kansas. So I'm going to click search, and here's one right here. It has 4,445 memorials, and 92% have been photographed. So, and it, if you see here, it says there's two requests. So there's two requests for, that people have made for somebody to go in there and to photograph for them. So I'm going to click there. Here's all that same information that we just talked about. So now I'm going to come down in here, and this is a separate or different cemetery than I had used previously. I had used one that was just specifically Michaela Cemetery. So now I'm going to come into the Russell City Cemetery where there are a lot of interments, and I'm going to click search and see if there's more. And here you go. I have found 30 more matching records for Michaela. And all of these people somehow, like I said, we all came from Russia. They, they are all related, and so I just need to sit down and go through Family Tree or whatever program that you use and see how they're all related and make sure that their family history work has all been completed. So that is how we would search for a, a certain cemetery in a certain place. Um, I'm going to come down a little bit further now on that screen, and here is a box of cemeteries. This is just local to me. I didn't mean to do that. I hit my scroll, bu scroll button and kind of messed that up. But this just shows me the cemeteries that are around me. The ones that have open requests mean that there are actually, they're the green ones, and they mean that people actually are asking for pictures to be taken there. If there's numbers, that just tells you there's three in that area, there's four in that area, however many that there are. To the right, you're going to see favorite cemeteries. If you're working on a cemetery, like I was working in that Russell City one, or if I wanted to work in the Michaelis one, I could just go ahead and say add it to the favorites here, and then that way it would just stay with my screen and I can bounce back and forth quickly and take a look through that cemetery. Um, my virtual cemetery, say you're working on your line. If I was pulling information from Russia for my father's line and pulling in cemeteries from Belgium for my mother's line, I could just create my own little virtual cemetery here and keep all those memorials right together. That way I, I can see all of the different headstones easily and I don't have to bounce back and forth through all the different cemeteries. It's just, just like a little folder for me to put those in and to keep everything organized. And so that is the screen for the cemeteries. Again, your biggest area that you're going to be wanting to work in is wherever you have a concentration of family. So for me, like I said, it's in Kansas, and I know that they were mostly in Russell, Kansas. So I can just go through all of the different um, cemeteries in Russell, Kansas, and look for any Michaelises. And then once I find them, like I said, you find one, you're normally going to find many because people tended to be buried near family members. And so you will find a large majority of your family in the cemeteries easily. So I hope that helps you. But that is how you use the cemetery search in the Find a Grave website.